Hello, hello, and welcome back to the channel. As most of you know, I'm Topher. And for those of you who don't know and just randomly decided to click on my video, welcome to the channel. I'm Topher. Thank you for stopping by. So we're here to do a reaction, and we're reacting to some more of my queen, my goddess, my end-all, be-all, the one, the only Miss Kelly Clarkson, and some more for Kelly Oki segments. Um, and we are also celebrating my three-year anniversary of doing reactions on this channel. Yay! Um, it's been... It's been a fun... Mostly a fun ride. Sometimes, you know, it's a little stressful. Sometimes there are lots of emotions that go on and whatnot. But for the most part, I've said it a million times over and I'll continue to say it. I've got some of the best subscribers and best supporters on YouTube. I've got some of the best supporters on the planet. And I love you guys so, so much. So thank you for sticking around with me for the last three years. And here's to three more. Or more, too, I suppose. But yeah. Um, anyway, so we're going to dive on in. First up, we've got her an older song her covering mama said by the shirelles i don't think i'm familiar with this song i don't think i am but either way we're just gonna dive on in and learn Ooh, i love that vocal pattern Middle girl, I love you. Mm. These background vocals are immaculate. Oh, the vocals are perfect. Come on, girl. Pause. 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 Lord. Okay. Live, live, live. I love, love this style of song on her voice and the background vocals. I feel like the background vocals are my favorite part of this performance. They were so immaculate, so perfect. Oh my God. They, they fit this style so well and it just sounded so good. So damn good. And a song like this, those background vocals are so super important. That sort of, you know, 50s, 60s girl group where the, you know, three-part harmony and everything is just so tight-knit. Like, it's it's so important to have those background vocals on point. And, oh, so good. So stinking good. So stinking good. And then Kelly's mainline vocals, obviously, were amazing. I love, I love where the voice sat in her voice. Where the voice sat. I love where the song sat in her voice. And I love how just playful she was with the vocals. Like sometimes she would do these sort of rhythmic patterns in her chest voice, sometimes she would float into her head voice, and then she would belt her face off. Um, there are times when the rhythm was giving me kinds of um, magic vibes with Rude, uh, like the verses of Rude. Jumped in the morning, out of bed, oh, like, I don't know why, but for some reason, like that sort of pattern was just popping to my head while she was singing um, during the verses. And I'm like, I dig this. I like these vocal patterns. It's it's different and interesting and I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. All right, so next we got her covering cl classic, 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 classic song, um, Ring of Fire by Johnny Cash, which I am super duper interested by when I saw this pop up because I'm like, Johnny, like we know Kelly's got a beautiful lower register, but Johnny Cash is very much that lower bottom of the register bass kind of I fell into a burning ring of fire and like I I don't know a lot of his songbook but from what I have heard I've not heard him 
you know, venture too high in his range. Everything I've heard has been kind of basement, chesty, bottom of the chest voice kind of sound, which is fine, it's cool. But with Kelly being, you know, soprano lady, yes, she's got that beautiful, gorgeous lower tone down here. I'm interested to see what she does with it to make it not not boring for her as a singer because not saying that the song is boring but as a singer sometimes there can be really great songs that are just not interesting to sing um, like for me all of me by john legend is a beautiful song i love the song lyrically his vocals on it everything beautiful but as a singer it does nothing for me i, I feel bored singing the song um, where other people it can sit in a place in their range where it just, it showcases all this other stuff and it sounds amazing and they love it. For me, it does absolutely nothing for me. So I'm curious to see what Kelly does with this so it doesn't feel like one of those instances where it's like, okay, I'm bored singing the song and how she's gonna change it up. So let's dive on. Singing and they asked me to sing, but- Apparently Jay Leno's I mean, here to too. to embarrass Kelly on her own show would be silly. <laughs> so, so we have especially Kelly Oki Encore, okay? I'm a huge Johnny Cash fan. This is Kelly uh, singing Ring of Fire, you know, the great, great uh, Johnny Cash. Yeah, thank you. So with this, it was it was fine. Like I wasn't super excited about it. it. I wasn't blown away, but it wasn't bad by any means. It was good. It was kind of. I know there are gonna be two like two fields of people on this. They're gonna be like the purists who are gonna be like, okay, Johnny Cash did this amazingly, and it doesn't need to be changed, and all of these vocal things she did at the end was too much, and she she's just showing off, blah, 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 and it didn't need to happen. She just kept it simple and pure, blah, blah, blah. And then they're gonna be the other camp and be like, oh my god, she, she switched it up, she made it her own, it was amazing, and I'm glad she did all these vocal things, blah, blah, blah. I'm, I'm leaning more towards the second camp. Um, like at first when I heard the music instrumentation was so close to the original Johnny Cash version, um, I was like, okay, I feel like this might end up being what I was talking about in the beginning where it's one of those songs that, yeah, it'll sound good, but as a singer, it's boring to actually perform and sing it. And for like the first half of it, I was getting that sort of vibe. Um, like she looked happy, she looked like she was enjoying herself, but like vocally, it didn't feel like she was doing anything interesting or it didn't feel like she was vocally interested in what was happening and then as soon as i thought that a few seconds later that's when she first started to you know sing up the octave or you know belt it a little bit more and do a little play a little bit more with her vocals in that sense and i think for me it was it was a nice change of pace because the song is very repetitive in a sense it's very repetitive in its melodic line it's very repetitive in it's phrasing and it's a very repetitive feel to the song. So her changing it up, I think was good and necessary. 
but I still had that sort of air of like, uh, it just feels like a singer singing a song that doesn't potentially, doesn't really interest them as a singer. Um, I was kind of hoping that she was going to go like the, I know um, Adam Lambert, that wasn't like his original version. He covered it from somebody else. I just don't remember who the artist was that Adam Lambert used as his inspiration when he was on American Idol. But like, I was kind of hoping not necessarily go that exact route with the instrumentation and whatnot, although I love that. I love that version. Um, but I was hoping that sh they were going to take it somewhere in that realm. Like we're going to change up the music a little bit just to make it a little bit more authentic to Kelly. Um, but we didn't. I'm like, okay, that's fine. That's fine. So all in all, it's a fine performance. It's just, it's nothing terribly exciting to listen to. It's just good. It's good vocals. Good. All right. So then... Up next, we've got her covering a cl 80s classic, um, Heart of Glass by Blondie, and I love the song. Love, love, love the song, and y'all know I love 80s music, so, and I love Kelly in 80s music, so let's just dive on in and see how this goes. <laughs> Gorgeous. Oh. That light head voice. Easy, angelic. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. I love how much of her head voice was used in that because it was just so pure and angelic and just beautiful. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous head voice. And it just, mmm, so beautiful. And then towards the end a little bit, she started to incorporate a little bit more of her chest and it started to get a little bit more into like a chesty belt range, but then she pulled it back into the head voice. Either way, she could have gone and just belted it all out at the end, or she could have kept it, you know, the light, nice, soft head voice. It would have been gorgeous either way, but her head voice is so beautiful, and it's so, it's displayed so well in this song. Mm. Delicious, delicious, delicious. All right, so the last one we're looking at in this session is an older performance that she did. Um, I just didn't get reactor and I'm surprised that I didn't because I feel like I have like it just seems like something that I would have and I remember adding it to my playlist it just feels like something that I would have reacted to but when I went and searched through all of my Kellyoki videos it wasn't in any of the lists so I'm like okay I guess I never got around to it so we're gonna fix that now so it is Kelly covering hopelessly devoted to you by Olivia Newton John I love this song so let's get into it <laughs> I love that she has a skater behind her.
beautiful headboards. Beautiful. Beautiful, 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 beautiful rendition. Love, love, love it. Um, she didn't change it up too, too much. It was actually pretty similar to the original as far as, you know, the vocal arrangements went, which there's nothing wrong with that. Um, my only issue with it, and it could just be a me thing, is I like the inclusion of the skaters. It, it, it made for a nice sort of like, I don't know, like background dancing or whatnot. But they kind of stole the focus. I found myself while watching the video a lot of the time watching them dance or skate or perform or whatnot and the music fell to the background in my main, in my mind a number of times. It's like watching Dancing with the Stars performances or some of those like light ice skating performances where they've got the singer singing their live. Like yes, the people are sitting there singing live and they're giving you great vocals and all that kind of stuff, giving you performance, but you're so focused on the dancing or the skating or whatever that's happening front and center that it's almost like, okay, it's just this almost the same as just listening to watching them dance or skate or whatever to a track that they have in the background. Um, so that's kind of what was happening a little bit. I was getting so distracted by the sing or by the skaters that I was focusing on the skating and the singing just felt like background music where, hey, I'm here to react to Kelly. I'm here to listen to Kelly. I'm here to blah, blah, blah. So that's just one thing that I maybe would have changed. Not, not necessarily get rid of the skaters, but maybe not focus the camera so heavily on them because they were full. Like, yes, I get it. And I love that they featured their artists, that they're, they're guest people who are coming on there. It's it's great to give them the exposure and all that kind of stuff. But at the same time, it was it, I found it a little distracting. So there are certain things that I vocally wasn't paying attention to because I was focusing on the skating. But what I did here was beautiful. Like I said, it wasn't changed up too much from the original rendition. Um, vocally it stayed pretty much the same and it was just a good solid cover yeah all right so then like you guys know at the end of all of our karaoke reaction sessions we've got to rank our performances so in fourth place this episode or this session I'm gonna put ring of fire I really don't have to explain um, third place I think I'm going to put hopelessly devoted to you just because like I said, I was more focused on the skaters and I didn't really get it. I didn't really get to focus in on her voice and whatnot. Um, second place, I'll put Heart of Glass because her her use of her head voice in that was just gorgeous and beautiful. And first place, I'll put Mama Said just because I, I really enjoyed that opening performance. I thought it sat, the song sat well in her voice and the background vocals were immaculate perfection. Live, 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 live. But yeah, let me know what your rankings are down in the comment section, and I hope you guys enjoyed this reaction. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share, turn on notifications so you'll be notified when all of my shenanigans get posted. If there's anything else you'd like me to react to, be sure to leave it down in the comments, and I'll get to it as soon as I possibly can. If you'd like to support the channel in other ways, you're more than welcome to join us over on Patreon. You don't have to, but you're more than welcome to if you want to. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Love ya. Mwah. And before you guys go, a shout out to my amazing patrons. I can't begin to express how thankful I am for your support. And if you guys would like to join us over on Patreon, the link is down in the description. I love you guys.